And we've got some breaking news out of the NBA where Kevin Durant will make his return to the hardwood on Wednesday night against the Timberwolves. That is according to The Athletic. Durant has missed the last 10 games after spraining his left ankle during warmups on March 8th. He's only played in three games since being traded from Brooklyn to Phoenix in early February. The Suns currently in fourth place in the West heading into Wednesday night's matchup against the Timberwolves. And since that trade, we're looking at Katie's splits, him with Phoenix, him with Brooklyn, averaging 26.7 points per game with Phoenix, 29.7 with Brooklyn. But also just remember, he's only played three games with the Suns since being traded from Brooklyn back in February. And for more on the matter, let's bring in our coach, Avery Johnson. Coach, just want to get your initial reaction to Katie returning against the Timberwolves. Well, excited to have KD back in the Phoenix Suns uniform. I know my old teammate, Monty Williams, who's the Phoenix Suns coach, he's excited. I'm, I'm just curious, though, uh, with, with the KD returning to the lineup, how are they going to utilize him first in the pregame warm-up? Because remember, that's how he got injured in his pregame warm-up. And then is he going to be on some sort of a minute restriction where they can slowly ramp him up with so fewer games uh, left in the regular season so that he can be really ready to go uh, come playoff time. So uh, we definitely don't want to see this again. Um, maybe they'll have some sort of special tape jobs on his ankle. Maybe he'll wear uh, a different type of a shoe, but there needs to be some adjustments on his pregame routine, how his ankles are taped, and then also from a minute restriction as he continues to get back in the game shape. Yeah, and Coach, the Suns are 4-6 and six in those 10 games that KD missed since spraining his ankle there. Obviously, KD, one of the best players in the NBA, but how does he specifically make the Suns that much better? Well, he's just another 911 guy that can make shots at the end of the shot clock. You know, Devin Booker, you know, he's, he's a superstar now in the NBA want to get back to the NBA Finals after losing to the Milwaukee Bucks two years ago. Chris Paul searching for his first championship, but he's more of a mid-range guy that's capable of, of obviously making the three-point shot. But nobody on that team is quite like Kevin Durant. You know, two-time uh, NBA uh, MVP and champion. This guy, you know, led our national team to a gold medal and basically when I asked my former coach coach Popovich what was the key to that gold medal he said he told everybody on the team make sure the ball finds Kevin Durant and I'm sure that's Monty Williams message especially uh in clutch moments of of a game make sure the ball finds Kevin Durant because when it does good things happen. And coach, you talked about it a little bit, you know, wondering how they're going to get Kevin Durant kind of ramped up and just ease him back into things from the warm up to the game. In your opinion, from a coaching standpoint, just how careful are you with a player that's coming off an injury, really two injuries when you think about it, and you got the playoffs right around the corner? Yeah, very careful. The one thing that you don't want to do is do the same thing that Anthony Davis and the Lakers did when they got LeBron James back in uniform, everybody became a little bit more passive and non-aggressive. Like Anthony Davis only had eight shots in that game when LeBron James returned and, and they weren't successful. So I think but guys like Booker, Aiden, Chris Paul, they still have to play their games, uh, still be aggressive. Sure, as we talked about, if the game is close, uh, the ball needs to find Kevin Durant. But those guys need to make sure that they do some of the same things that they've been doing, especially in the last two games when when they've won those games and they've been ultra aggressive. Just don't be pass the ball to Kevin Durant every single time down the floor. You know, let him work his way in. And then at the end of a game, if you need a bucket, you know where to go. All right, that is our coach Avery Johnson joining us here on HQ with that breaking news out of the NBA where Kevin Durant will make his return on the hardwood on Wednesday night against the Timberwolves. Thank you so much, coach. Good stuff as always. We appreciate it. And the Suns currently sitting fourth in the West. And here is a look at what they have on tap. The remaining schedule, of course, Wednesday against the Timberwolves there when KD will make his return, followed by the Nuggets, the Thunder, and the Spurs. 
you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.